I started nursing probably oh, almost 22 years ago now. And when I first started, it really was when I first decided that I was going to actually get into the profession, it was as a result of having worked as a health care aide or a nursing assistant back when I was quite young, when I was 16 and going to high school. And so that experience of working with people and making a difference in the quality of their lives is what really led me to want to continue to be part of that and part of a community that takes care of people and makes a difference in their quality of life. I think that it is a career for me that has uh, had unlimited opportunities to make a difference in health care. I have worked at the bedside as a critical care nurse. I've worked in several uh, countries. I've worked in the United States as well as in Canada. And uh, throughout that, I, I gained a lot of experience in working directly with patients and becoming very attuned to what it is that, that made a difference for them. I think initially when I started, I thought that it was the technology piece. And so it was, well, how do we make sure that the technology works right? Really watching that cardiac monitor. Of, of the patient and making sure that everything, the IV was running right, the cardiac monitor was correct, vital signs were stable. But I think after uh, doing that for a little while, I came to understand that you go beyond the technology into really making a connection with the people that you're working with. And it's that connection and that caring that makes a difference in people's lives. And when you're able to make that connection, you know it. I think one of the most remarkable things about being a nurse is that I can walk into a patient room and just like that, I can have an instant relationship with that patient. One in that, that we have developed trust together. And one in which the patient will look at, uh, at me and then confide everything about themselves to me. And I don't know of many professions where you can do that, where you can walk into a room and somebody will share the most intimate things about their life with you. And I find that that's a very privileged uh, position to be in. I guess the biggest thing for me, and the most satisfying thing for me, is that we all have an opportunity to participate in, in caring for the patient. We have a whole community, a whole team that works to do this. And being part of that community really keeps me invigorated and uh, motivated because I see my team members also uh, really coming to the plate and really making a difference as well. So although I'm in administration now, I still have colleagues that are from different uh, backgrounds, different medical backgrounds, or uh, physiotherapists, for example, dietitian, and, and together we, uh, we really work well and make a difference from many different perspectives. So it's really that teamwork and coming together to, to do that. I think the most rewarding part for me and the way that I, I get uh, energy, where I get my energy from and stay enthusiastic is through the work that I do directly with the individuals that provide the care. Uh, so, for example, I recently had uh, sessions that I was holding with the nurses at my hospital where we had an opportunity to really talk about how do we do this better. And again, it's that, that working together, hearing the stories, and problem solving together. We have challenges that are global. We have recruitment challenges that are global. And because of that, you know, we're robbing from over here to try and bring nurses over to this, or physicians, or others. Uh, and everybody now has become very aware of the fact that we have, a, we have acute shortages to address. So how do we keep our valuable resources happy? How do we keep, um, how do we as a group really stay focused on, on our cause as well, which at the end of the day is making a difference in patient care. And for me, I get my energy from working directly with the care providers in uh, talking about how we can do it best.